Hello, you're watching James. My name's James. You're watching me, and I am talking about watches. Well, today is time for another pilot watch, or a pilot sort of style watch. Yes, I know I show a lot of pilot watches on this channel. It's because I just happen to really like pilot watches, and every watch that I buy, I'm buying from me. Just because I happen to show them on the channel, that's kind of like a secondary thing for me. I buy every single watch for me to wear, to enjoy. Sharing it with you guys is just like a bit of an extra perk for me. So yes, it's another pilot watch. It's a pilot watch from AliExpress, but it's a little bit different and there's something a little bit special about it. This one I actually saw on social media from a guy that I follow on Instagram. He posted a picture of this watch and I had to message him and say, what is that? Where did you get that? I haven't seen that before because it is something pretty cool and I quite like it. As I said, this one is from AliExpress. It is called the QM Pilot. And if you're interested in it, I will leave one of those affiliate links down below. Now you may actually want to use the affiliate link, not because you're sort of helping me out financially, but it's actually a little bit of a hard watch to find. Sometimes on AliExpress, if you know the watch, but you haven't had it sort of come up on your list, trying to search for it can be a little bit hard. So use the link and you'll be able to find this particular watch. If you do choose to use that link and I do earn a little bit of commission, well, thank you so much. I do absolutely appreciate it. And whilst you're there, do you mind just clicking on that subscribe button if you haven't already done so? Thank you very much. Let's flip the camera around now. In a first impressions style video, let's check out another AliExpress Pilot Watch. So here we have my latest AliExpress purchase, the QM Pilot Watch, and there's probably three things that have really stood out to me. There's probably actually a few more because this one is actually particularly nice. Firstly, the price is very good, 215 Australian dollars. I think for this sort of looking watch, this sort of style of watch, the movement, the interesting movement this comes with this one, it's not a bad price. It's priced quite well. But the first thing that stood out to me when it arrived was Camden's quite a nice sort of packaging. That's actually a lot nicer than some of the others we get from uh, AliExpress. Plus it also came with all these spare bits and pieces. It came with two extra straps. Got like a uh, canvas strap and a red strap. Let's put them aside. A uh, little card. Polishing cloth. Cool. So we've got extra straps and that works well for me because I don't seem to have enough spare straps, especially this sort of 20 millimeters. So it's nice to have a an extra couple of spare straps in my collection now. Nice, well, well presented. And check that out. What a cool looking sort of watch. Slightly different interpretation of a pilot watch compared to some of the more sort of uh, standard ones. And I quite like that about that. But let's get down the packaging and let's check it out. So second thing that stood out to me straight away and was quite interesting was the strap. This is the softest, nicest feeling strap I've ever encountered. Now, I don't think it's full leather or real leather. I don't really know what it's made out of. I'm not sure how good quality it is, but wow, it feels nice. Look at how Soft that is, yeah, absolutely. And the hardware that comes on it. Look how thick that is, and then the tang. Yeah, I love seeing a nice thick tang. That's a bit of an odd thing to say, perhaps, but I do like seeing nice hardware on a watch. But wow, soft, soft, soft. Well, hopefully it's good quality enough to last long term because it's a lovely one to wear on this particular watch. But let's check out the watch because there's a number three thing coming up straight away, and that's a turn it around. Check out that movement. Ooh, it's, I almost bought this watch just to look at that movement. Now, this is not a particularly expensive movement. Um, it's not a particularly complicated movement, but I think it looks absolutely fantastic. I can see perhaps the quality assurances of this watches may not be perfect though, because if you look on the drum there, there's actually a little bit of smudging on there, which is a little bit disappointing, but let's not look at that. Let's just look at it as a whole. Really, really pretty movement to look at. And then as soon as I started looking into this watch a little bit more, there was another feature that stood out. See that outer uh, solid bezel? Let's put it on an angle there and let's zoom in a little bit. See the uh, sort of the cutaway sort of cuts in? That's really cool. I really like the look of that. I like the feel of that. And what I do like about uh, polished bezels that are like that have, that, that have that sort of inverse sort of uh, cutaway there or converse. Is it converse, convex? Oh, one of those, one of those. Oh, it doesn't really matter. What it does is it plays with the light. And I really like that. It, it sort of really plays with the light. And I do appreciate that. But let's check out the watch in a little bit more detail. Nice perfectly sort of black sort of a satin sort of look sort of dial to it very sort of simple but really interesting got the outer railway track we've got lots of loom there qm kind of a cool logo actually i like the m inside the q and then check out the length of these hands now i do like long hands but these are pushing my limits even by the length i think they are huge big um, hour hound there but then check out the minute hand it overlaps the minute track almost it's it's almost too long and i've never said that before 
I'm perfectly fine with it. I actually like it because I do like long hands, but wow, that's a that's a very long minute hand. It does mean that this thing is the most legible watch that I think I've ever seen. Look at that. Yep, I can tell the time from a mile away. Sub-second hand. I do like a sub-second hand on a watch. It's just a kind of a cool thing to have. Not too much else going on there. I'm not sure how good the loom is yet. When I do the full review, obviously, I'll get into that. We have a sort of interesting crown here. What do we call one of these? Oh, I'm not really sure, but what it is, is it's nice and easy to grab onto because it is a manual wound watch only. That's a nice brushing on the side. We've already had a look at that gorgeous movement. Well, what's next to talk about? Well, let's check this one out on wrist. Oh yes, that strap just feels lovely. It's so soft and conforms to my wrist, sort of like I've worn it for a year and that's sort of the, sort of the feel of it, but it instantly feels like that. And how does it look on wrist? Well, it looks relatively big and that's for two reasons. I'm okay with this sort of size, especially being a pilot sort of watch. Um, and that is probably the first reason why it's sort of sitting so big on wrist because it is a pilot watch. It's designed to be a little bit bigger. But secondly is that movement in the back. It's quite a large movement. And if you actually look at it closer, you can see there's actually not much more case outside of that movement. So that movement is sort of making the watch a little bit bigger. But this sort of style, it gets away with it perfectly. I probably wouldn't buy a watch like this sort of size in different styles, but pilots I'm perfectly okay with. In fact, I rather like them. But being that sort of manual movement, it actually feels quite thin on wrist. Look how low it sits onto my wrist. That's really very, very cool. And for 215 Australian dollars, you get a nice strap, a couple of extra straps, really cool looking dial, that awesome movement to look at. Yes, it's not a particularly expensive movement, but I still really like it. Extra straps. Wow, I actually think that's quite a nice sort of price for this watch. Also comes in another colour, which actually looks really cool as well. I did go for the slightly more boring basic black, but I do quite like boring basic black watches, so this is the one that I picked, obviously. Now guys, I am going to keep this one on wrist for quite some time. I really like wearing this sort of style of watch. I'll mix and match it with some other watches as I always do. I do have a collection, so I do like to mix and match them up a little bit, but I'll get that full review out for you guys in about, oh, about sort of four to six weeks. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I do hope to see you in the next video.